So the camera's rolling. I don't do intros or anything like that. I'm going to tell you like I tell everybody else. Uh, what they see is what they get. It's unfiltered. You can cuss. You can look at the camera. We can interact and everything. So uh, one, like I've told everybody else, thank you for the opportunity. Um, I don't know if I fully explained it to you, but this is for uh, my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm going around fitness influencer, fitness coach, power lifter, bodybuilder, strong man, doesn't matter what you are. I wanted to have a sit down with people here and just discuss aspects of fitness. There's, I have a shitload of reasons why, but um, there are a lot of, main factor, there are a lot of, <clears throat> there are a lot of phenomenal people here in Fayetteville, North Carolina and North Carolina in general, but they don't have the same traction or the same eyes on them like you see like a Phil Heath or a, uh, a, a C.T. Fletcher or, or Michael Sheet or whoever the big mainstream yeah. influence is, but I see people in here every day, Worlds, uh, Fit for Life, Fitness Connection, Lions Den, um, pulling this, doing the same work we see these high-end fitness and uh, fluenters do. So I said, you know what, let me uh, try to put a face on these people um, just to, one, help build my channel up too, but like, the, I'm just trying to grow this fitness community. Yeah. And, I'm using people that I know to help me grow. So with that being said, again, thank you humbly and respectfully for coming to my of course, channel. Of course. So with that being said, if you don't mind, introduce yourself and I'll start the flow of the conversation from there. Uh, Dill Keep Williams. Going. Keep going. Uh, been competing in a strong man for about three years now. Mm -hmm. uh, I was 2023 recent. I won the national championship. Mm -hmm. And then March of this year, I went to the Arnold Classic Amateur World Championship in Ohio. And I ended up placing fourth out of about roughly 20 people from all over the country, Canada, Europe, all over the US, I ended up placing fourth. Uh, and now I am going to the open division. Um, I compete next weekend uh, at Myrtle Beach and South Carolina's Convention Center. It is South Carolina's strongest. April 6th starts at nine o'clock. Yes, sir. So uh, out of, here's where I'll start with it. Uh, I always ask, so let's start at the beginning. Like, what got you introduced uh, into fitness? Like, how old were you when you, the gym aspect, how old were when you started doing, like, the gym? I think the gym started, like, obviously, like, when I was in high school. Okay. Typical, like, high school football lifting. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I got into the Army, it was just, like, that typical bro lifting style. Just go to the gym, mm -hmm. chest Monday, biceps. As long as you maintain your PT. Maintaining yeah. my PT, mm -hmm. maintaining my form. Mm -hmm. um, and then I didn't really, I think I started taking lifting like serious seriously and probably when i started strongman which was in the beginning of 21. so uh if you don't mind me asking that uh bodybuilding olympic lifting powerlifting strongman what what made you lean towards strongman i just think it's a great sport and mm -hmm. i had friends that did it uh mm -hmm. my sister kira does it mm -hmm. and she got me into it and i did my first competition march of 2021 was my first ever competition mm -hmm. and I just absolutely fell in love with it. So from what I see, if I'm misspeaking or I'm speaking out of ignorance, please forgive me. But so the reason why I ask, so you're the only other strong man that I know in this area, if that makes sense. Like, I know they say that there's one other person that comes in, but so like prime example in worlds from what I see and from again, from what I know, you got your power lifters and you got your bodybuilders and like you're a strong man they're onesies and twosies. That, so that's why I asked like specifically for you, like, hey, what made you get into it? Um, so with that being said, uh, we'll go to your first comp. Um, so when you when you did your first ever comp, like what, did you get the jitters? Were you nervous? I definitely was nervous mm -hmm. uh, because I guess that was my first time mm -hmm. and I'm going against Stu. I was only, I went to, I was the open class. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I was like two, 55, 260 then maybe. Mm -hmm. And I'm going against guys that are like 320, 330, mm -hmm. that have been doing this for a couple of years. And I'm just, there's a couple pros in the class from a different weight class though, but I was a little nervous. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just like any competitive thing I do, I'm nervous until like, let's say football. Okay. Football, I get the butterflies, but right when kickoff happens. It's go time. It's go time. Okay. It all, that wipes away. Full throttle. Same with lifting. Like at Nationals this year or the Arnold Jitterbugs, I was. And that was your fourth one. So I've done, mm -hmm. 
in the last three years, I think I've done 18 competitions. Oh Lord! So we can, and, and you get the jitters every time. Every time. So even as, so you're definitely you're way more. I think it's. Season, I uh, think yeah. I think it's more of the fact that like my adrenaline's going, okay. I'm ready to go, and I'm just like shaking a little bit. And then, yeah, I definitely get like, especially big shows, like mm-hmm. little shows. I don't really get nervous for, but it's definitely like a bigger show, mm-hmm. a bigger competitive show with actually competitive athletes where I can like push, push myself. So, um, as a as a compet, so forgive me. I, I plan on um getting on the platform soon. We're supposed to host one here. If not, I'm going to find one get on the platform and finally be able to say I'm a power lifter. This is how I see it. This is what I've been taught. But you cannot identify yourself as a, in any Olymp- lifting sport, bodybuilding, powerlifting, strongman. You, you cannot say you're this unless you've competed and, you know, got your number certified or whatever. But um, the reason why I'm asking if you ever got the jitters and you say you still get them with all the comps that you do. Um, the reason why I asked, I wanted to know if it affected your performance. That way I know what to expect when I decide to get on that platform and everything. No, I don't. Mm-hmm. It's definitely not. It's definitely exceeded my performance. Like it pushes me. Like it gets my, it's, it's like, it's just my adrenaline going up mm-hmm. and me, my excitement is ready to go. Okay. And then right when I grab my first implement, no matter if it's an actual log, stone, sandbag, yoke, whatever it is, and I take off, it goes away. So a uh, first time mindset versus a season mindset, like, so what are your expect? What are your expectations every time you perform? Like, do you do you go okay? I'm gonna hit these numbers so I can place in these ranking rankings, or do you just have the mindset up? I'm gonna perform to the be- the best of my p- abilities, no matter what. So mm-hmm. in a strongman, I would say you pretty much you have to perform to your. Mm-hmm. You can't unless, you, I would say all strongmen will peak like they will go full throttle the whole time. The only time you really can do the whole I only need to do this so much huh. if you look at your numbers because you don't have to win every single event to win the whole show. Okay. I could play second, third, second, third, second and still win the whole event. Okay. It's all because like you can be really good at pressing but I and really good at something else but I'm overall good at everything. Okay. I still can beat you. Okay. Um, okay. Because you, that's, what, that's how strongman works. Like just because you're good at one thing, good at deadlifting or good at pressing doesn't mean you're going to win the whole show. I pride myself of being an athlete, okay. being overall decent at everything, which always puts me in the top half or top portion okay. of my competitors. Say less. So if you don't mind me asking, so you know in powerlifting you have your, your squat, your bench, and your deadlift. So what are some of the things that strongmen do in their comps? Like, like uh, yeah, what are some of the things strongmen do in their comps? You got, dude, we have everything. We'll have a regular deadlift. We'll okay. have a 13-inch deadlift. We'll have an 18-inch deadlift. Mm-hmm. We'll have an axle deadlift. <laughs> uh, we'll have a log press, mm-hmm. an axle clean and press, mm-hmm. a yoke press. So, mm-hmm. like, you know the yoke out there? Got you. We'll press the yoke. Uh, sandbag press, sandbag to shoulder, stone to shoulder, stone press, natural stones. Uh sandbag toss over something, mm-hmm. um, keg loads, keg presses, uh, medleys where like, let's say I have a sandbag keg and a stone. Mm-hmm. I would have to take this keg, run it all the way down 50 feet, come back, bring it back, grab, grab the it. sandbag, mm-hmm. take it back, then grab the last implement and take it back. Whoever can do it the fastest time. That's some cardio for your ass. It is, it is. And it's not light. Mm -hmm. It it, it weights to be 300, 350, 325. Like, it's usually lighter. It usually starts, let's say. My bad back. No, let me start. (laughs) Like, like, um, next weekend, Mm -hmm. I have um, my last event, sandbag to shoulder. Mm -hmm. And I have to start with a 275 pound sandbag. I go 275, clean it to my shoulder, drop it. I go to a 300, clean it to my shoulder, drop it. I go to a 325, clean it to my shoulder, drop it. And I go to the 350, and I clean the. Th- I have to roll it up and clean it to my shoulder, for time. Fast as. Got you, got you. No, my, my bad. I'm, I'm taking it all in. So. It's the, a lot. It, it's, no, it's, it's, it's a lot. No, the only reason I ask, it, how does one train for all those events? So like, I. Mm, yeah. So. Like my coach, mm-hmm. uh, Marco, he unorthodox sort of training he just kind of like makes me he's just like dylan i'm just gonna get you strong as fuck okay because if i can make every part of your body strong as fuck you're athletic enough to do the events okay. um but i also do 
Like a lot of people will train their events a lot. Okay. I don't train my events a lot in competition unless it's something I'm not good at. Okay. If I need to like learn something or just like keep it refreshed, I'll do it every now and then, like every other Saturday or something. Yeah, cause, cause I'm thinking with all those, of, <laughs> so you, in powerlifting, which I'm gonna stick with that. I, I could not do strongman. I'm sorry. I, what's it called? Uh, the Hercules, the Hercules hold? hold. Man, now that is. But yeah. Um, it, only reason I ask. So there's certain things you can do to condition condition yourself for a better squat. Condition yourself for a better deadlift. Condition yourself for a better uh for a better ch uh, bench press. But it's it's to me from what I see and what I know, which is very minimal. It seems like there's so many aspects that you can train for strongman. It's like as long as you stick to full body workouts, mm -hmm. strong full body workouts, then realistically you, you you'll be a, be a good decent competitor. Like I'm not hating on, mm -hmm. I'm not hating on any sport. Mm -hmm. um, but I've powerlifted and strongman. It, it, they're, they're they're completely different sports. I've seen elite powerlifters mm -hmm. come into strongman. Humbled and humbled. Okay. Now, I mean, absolutely humbled. Okay. Um, it's just a different sport. You're using different muscles. You're not. Your your movements are completely different. Like, again, I'm not taking anything away from powerlifting. Mm -hmm. Dudes are strong. It's more like strongman's more of like an athletic game. Like, who's overall athletic can move and do it all. All, all the way. So basically, like an athletic build, but moving heavy yes. ass weight. Okay. And you're using, dude, I've used muscles that I never even thought I could fucking use. Okay. And I've used, and I've been like sore at muscles where I'm like, what is that? I'm glad you kind of touched on that. So with that being said, is it safe to say you're more accident slash injury, not you, but strong, but accident slash injury prone in that type of field? I've seen a lot of injuries. Mm, um, okay. But a lot of people I know, as long as you've taken care of yourself and you're not overdo it it's when people like overdo it or some people are just taking too much gear got you and dry it out and blowing mm -hmm. muscles tendons um but it happens every sport's gonna have it mm -hmm. um i've seen hamstrings i've seen biceps blown blown not torn but fully blown blown off oh lord jesus okay um but it's it's gonna happen Regardless but, of the sport. regardless of the sport, it's going to happen. As if, but if you're taking care of yourself and you're doing what you need to do, um, it's bound to happen to every athlete. Like me right now, I'm fighting with a uh, shoulder injury mm -hmm. on the back side of my rotator cuff. And you still plan on doing the comp regardless. Still, I'm doing my rehab work like I'm supposed to, taking it easy. Um, and then after that, I will be doing nothing but mobility and recovery, rehab, re recovery mm -hmm. work for a long time. So... Last thing on that, then I'll, then I'll move it over to a, a, a different area. Um, so my, the, the reason why I asked if it was more accident or injury prone, um, I was thinking about the sense of longevity. But you also did state that, hey, you know, it depends on the person. Anything can happen. But uh, do you feel like strongman can be used for longevity as long as you're smart about it? Yeah, I believe so because you're doing, you're doing a, your whole body. You're working muscles that aren't typically used during a bench or a okay. squat or a deadlift mm -hmm. like it my core I, I don't even train core really mm -hmm. my core just gets strong with, with, everything, everything, with everything else everything that you else do I do <laughs> yeah um but I think there is but also it does tear down your body okay obviously any kind of weightlifting is going to tear down your body um but if you're smart with it and you take care of yourself look at Mark Felix mm -hmm. Mark Felix is almost 60 if not 60 and he's still doing strongman and he just retired okay and the dude was still competing that world's strongest man how many years was that a couple of decades yeah okay he's, so say like so i i don't know that's what i but so he's it, been doing it since maybe the 90s early 2000s maybe? okay so 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 yes as long as you're smart about it and you do you know the do's and don'ts of strongman it definitely can be used for longevity so out of all your training uh, regimes from your football the regimes that you may may ha that you have done while you why you served in the regimes that you've done for strongman which ones which ones have been the hardest there's a reason why i asked but which ones were the hardest for you training wise yeah training wise. oh strongman strongman i, I kind of get my it, coach he, he beats the shit out of me every time every time okay like so, every every week i look at my shit i'm just like fuck me is it can you become stagnant or reach a plateau in strongman out of curiosity 
Or is it the reason why, is it something you just, no matter what you do, you constantly grow? So you're going to be winded, you're going to be tired because you worked something. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, but I, there's definitely a, a plateau you hit, like hitting a log press. Mm -hmm. um, people get stuck at a log press for a while until they get past it, but that can also come down to all your movements. So coming from your drive through your legs, mm -hmm. your core, okay. your tricep strength, your front delt strength, unlike like bench, it's just down, up. You have different movements, like, but placements, but it's gonna be a lot different. Like I could hit a, let's say I hit a 340 log press and I feel like I'm plateaued. That's standing, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, let's oh, say, oh, let's oh. say I have a coach, a professional that's sitting there with me, coaching me. He's like, hey, do this, do that, change this, and press it like this. And all of a sudden, I'm pressing 370. Or because okay. of the movement. It's all about technique. Okay. Log press, uh, axle press, a lot of things are definitely technique. If you have good technique, you can do something very well. Got you. Um, so with that, um are you training solo dolo or, or have you ever coached in strongman before? I have a solo dolo. I have, I have my coach, he coaches me. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to eventually coach. Okay. Um, I've thought about trying to maybe take on like a little, somebody that just wants to start it, like a little newbie, mm -hmm. a beginner to see if they would allow me to see you. what I can do. Um, but I'm not pushing it. I'm like, mm -hmm. if, when it happens, it happens. Um, Chris, if you're watching this, I'm gonna try to get you to see this guy. No, I, so uh, a little backstory. Uh, reason being, so um, my my friend Chris, I don't know if you see me like post him every now and again when we work out together. So uh, phenomenal dude. I always tell people this. Phenomenal dude, but um, his height and his weight, he, he's just naturally strong. Like prime example, be, when he was training for the police academy, he had he had to take a break from the gym, right? So a lot of his numbers went down, but when he finally graduated and he came back up in here, he started hitting 425, 450 again. It took him maybe a month or a month and a half to deadlift, to get back to deadlifting 700 pounds. And I was thinking, I said, you know, and, and, and squat went up too. So the reason why I'm, I bring this story into play, I'm thinking with the numbers he's hitting, maybe powerlifting is important. If he were to compete, maybe he should lean towards strongman because he's already pulling phenomenal numbers. Maybe he's just not... Again, maybe with his genetics and how strong he is, maybe powerlifting may not be for him. Maybe it's something for strongmen. But I mean, Chris, if you see this, I'm sorry. I'm talking to a strong man, so I say, you know, trying to manifest. But but that's why I bring him up and this up and ask these certain questions and everything. It's, I think mm -hmm. it just comes down to if you give it a shot mm -hmm. and you like it, mm -hmm. you like it. If you don't, you don't. Gotcha. Um, but I've had many of powerlifters come over from. Mm -hmm powerlifting the strongman and they're like oh i'll do a couple shows and go back to powerlifting they never go back <laughs> they stay a strongman okay cool that, I, and again mm -hmm. no hate on powerlifting you hear that chris no let me stop yeah <laughs> but no um i don't think i could um i'm a little skeptical even getting on the platform but it's just like when i see something unique can i ask you a question why are you so skeptical of getting on the platform what what's like what's got you just like with with, with what I with what I work out around who I work out around and who I see with my build my height and my weight the only thing I feel and you know I said this to Jamarius um, I've said this to a couple people I feel like the only thing that'll stand out when I compete is my bench everything else uh, this isn't me down on myself I feel like these are facts mm -hmm. um, my deadlift to me subpar my squat <laughs> my squat to me subpar. So, have you had any proper training on either either or? Oh no no like I, I, I do have a coach now so okay. yeah so yeah I do but with by the time I want to uh, step on a platform and I'm comparing myself to others I don't see myself pulling six seven hundred. Oh pounds. dude, trust me, I'm mm -hmm. the same. I compare mm -hmm. my compare myself to elite strongman athletes because mm -hmm. I'm like I'm not as good as them. They're like yeah, but Dylan, there I'm like I don't care. Mm -hmm. I want I can do that. So so. Uh, what advice would powerlifting or strongman or any athlete, what advice would you give to somebody with that type of mindset? Just fucking do it. Say less. Like, don't give a fuck what people are, are going to think about you. Like, mm -hmm. it's the ones that are either like keyboard warriors or the motherfuckers that don't do it. They're going to talk shit. Got you, got you. Like, you go up there and you do it for you. You mm -hmm. don't do powerlifting for people. Mm -hmm. 
you're not gonna go up there and do it for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do strongman for you. Exactly. Yeah, gotcha. You gotcha. do it for yourself. You do what I like to push my body to the limits. I like to see what I can push myself to do. Okay. It's all a personal thing for me. Brother, I really, I really appreciate that. Thank you. So uh I just gotta get out of my own head. Because I know when yeah. you do that, mm -hmm. you're gonna feel very accomplished just knocking that first. Like your the numbers may yeah. yeah. Your numbers may not be the best, mm -hmm. but it's a start. Yes, sir. You can get your baseline of where you're at, get that already like first comp out of your way, and get all those whatever you're thinking out of the way. And then you can go into the second one ready to go. We'll see what happens, but I'm definitely doing one this year. Again, yeah. hopefully, if it's not at Worlds, I will get on that platform this year. And then once I get out of my own head, we'll see where the numbers go. But that, that was my mindset. But th this is another reason why I wanted to bring certain people to this channel, to this platform, because again, it, it's inspiring and motive. Now, I, I get it. A lot of people don't care about content creating and you know putting themselves out there. You're doing this for fun. You're not doing this for YouTube. You're not doing this for Instagram. You're not doing it. No. Yeah. So and, mm -hmm. and like I do this for me, and mm -hmm. like I post because it motivates people. Mm -hmm. The amount of people that I have that would text me, or people I used to be in the army with, or mm -hmm. I went to high school with, they're mm -hmm. like Dylan, like you got me motivated to start working out again, to start doing something with my life or something. And pretty much what I did, like, if I can motivate someone mm -hmm. a week or a day. Mm -hmm. That's good. Gotcha. I'm all about helping people out. I'm all about trying to help somebody better themselves. Uh -huh. I'm never going to down anybody. I'm never going to talk shit about somebody. Not in this sport. Yeah, I got no, you. No, there's no. And that, honestly, like that is one thing I love about this fucking sport. Mm -hmm. You're going to have your people that are your little, your fuckers. Yeah, I got um, you. But <laughs> yeah. most all, like mm -hmm. I, go, I compete with these guys. Some of these guys are my best friends all from all over the country, all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, and like when we compete together, it's fun. But we get after it. Like, don't get it wrong. Like, we get after it. We get after it. Um, but right after we finish, or we finish, like, let's say me and you're going head to head in a deadlift event or a press event, we're gonna finish and go sit in the chairs and just start shooting the shit. <laughs> I do this as a hobby, and 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 that's what I like because it's positive. It helps people grow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like when we compete, like I'm cheering on the guy that's going against me because mm -hmm. I want him to do his best. Mm -hmm. It's not like. I hope this dude fucking fails mm -hmm. and he just shits the fucking bed. No, it's not like that. I got you. I got you. Um, so if, if I may, I ask bodybuilders this, I've asked powerlifters this, and so I can ask the strongman. Are there any negative aspects ab about strongmen? Like as far as the environment? And what I mean by that is it's like, how about this, the downside to a strongman? Like, do you feel like there's a downside to strongmen? The sport. Oh. <sighs> You had to take a deep breath for that when I'm. From what, I haven't had like it's it's to each his own. Okay. Um, I haven't had any personal problems or okay. things that made me, uh, mm -hmm. about it, or a flaws. There may be some other people. Got you. Um, mm -hmm. but for me, I just no, I just go and do it. Say less. Um, I'm at one last question, and I'll end it with a rapid fire. Uh. One thing I definitely want to say is, again, thank you so much. Uh, if not for my audience, for me, this is something I feel like I needed. Um, those words of encouragement, they carry a lot of people through. Um, and you may not realize that not you, but anybody in this realm, yeah. um, you may not realize what you're doing for someone, especially when you have a sit down and you have a talk, a talk with them. You know, there are reasons why when it comes to lifting. But humbly, uh, thank you so much uh, for this interview, Always. for real, for real. So the last question I want to leave it off with for any competitor, whether it's, you know, we're going to stay in the strongman fitness in general for anybody who wants to compete. Is there any words of encouragement for their very first time? Is there any other words of encouragement you want to give us or them? Uh, just go out there. If you want to fucking do something, go out there and make it fucking happen. Simple as that. Don't let anybody put you down. You make it happen. Say less. All right, let me go ahead and get to these rapid fire questions. I'm going to set the time and we'll end it off. There we go. We go to the timer. It's gonna be 60 seconds, but it's it's a uh, 10 questions. Gotcha. All righty. Clock. Clock is starting now. All right. Rest day or cheat meal? Rest day. Conventional deadlift or sumo? Convention. Uh, energy drink or coffee? Energy. Cardio or sauna? Sauna. Bulgarian split squats or hip thrusts? 
Head thrust. Olympic lifting or uh, power lifting? Both. But, hey, <laughs> hey, I, I, I'll take uh, <laughs> Nike or Adidas? Uh, Nike. Rock and roll or hip hop? Oh, 50-50. I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, one rep max or uh, one rep max repetition? Ooh, repetition. Fitness model or muscle mommy? Muscle mommy. Hey, I fucked with it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the rapid fire. Uh, Dill, again, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, hopefully, uh, after you compete or sometime towards the end of the summer, in a better setting, obviously, I can bring you back and we can talk more. I can have uh, more questions for you in, in Strongman. Right now, I'm just trying to set the base for my yeah. channel. But uh, if Maybe you, next time you can bring... A power lifter and me, and we'll all sit down and have a oh, conversation. Oh Lord, that make that, it interesting. That, that was ominous. Now let me stop. But no, that, that's a good idea. That that is a real good idea. Uh, allow me to get more established, and please yeah. allow me to bring you back, brother. Too easy. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Appreciate it, brother. And we are out. All right.